Hello you guys, please do not mind this lighting. We are in the basement today and we have a very different video for you today. But what we're doing today is we are moving my spare bedroom from upstairs into downstairs. And my boyfriend, we're making kind of an office in the spare bedroom upstairs. That makes sense? So let me just show you here what I've got going on. Typically, I mean, I've got clothes drying here. <laughs> so we gotta clean that up today. This is gonna be a clean with me, a move rooms with me, a decorate with me, it's gonna be everything. So this is typically my nap room for my daycare. Um, and this is, like I said, in the basement. And then my boyfriend has a little office corner here in the corner. He's a huge gamer. So we've got that. I've got my one of my bookshelves here with a bunch of my books. So this stuff is gonna be going upstairs in our spare bedroom. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down the spare bedroom into this room because this is kind of a nap room anyways. My son recently escaped his crib. Um, he crawled out of his crib for the first time a couple of weeks ago. So I'm imagining that we're not too far off of needing this little um, toddler bed here, which I've been using for the daycare. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna bring down, like I said, the queen bed from the spare room bring it down here and then that way like my kids can nap in that bed as well as in the play pens here and because like i said my son's probably gonna need this little bed anyways so yeah so that's what we're gonna be doing today i hope that makes sense i'm not sure if this intro even made any sense but it's gonna be a process so we're gonna be moving floors we're going upstairs to downstairs and i'm not sure if i'll be able to show everything but i'm gonna show what i can and at the end we'll do a reveal so we have a lot of work to do so right now my son is napping so we're gonna get started and hopefully get a lot finished today this is probably gonna take a span of a couple of days um, to get everything done but we'll see what happens all right so this is what we are working with here <laughs> so as you can see it's a big room filled with junk now and I'm gonna start by removing some of this stuff to give myself to some room to work um, and then I am going to set up the bed first and go from there. So this is what we're working with. Everything is in here now and we just gotta make it all work. Okay, so like I said, we are starting by gathering everything up and just moving it out of this room. You guys are gonna notice that I have a little helper here with me today. Um, I've decided that I have to kind of start showing him in more videos um, because he's starting to not nap anymore. So typically I would always film my videos when he was napping and now he's starting to not nap. So he's just around. <laughs> so I was very, very cautious about putting him on my channel and it's a really hard decision for me to make. but. This is the way it's going to have to be if I want to continue doing YouTube, which I absolutely do. So here is my son Holden, and he is now going to be in the videos. So I moved everything out, and now I'm just moving. We had this mini fridge that was just in storage. And there's oftentimes when I feel like I need a second fridge, especially after doing a big Costco run or something like that. Um, and even it's just nice to have a beer fridge for sometimes if you're having people over or whatever. So I thought it would be a perfect place to put it in the spare bedroom. Like I said, it was just in storage before. So I thought, why not put it in the spare bedroom? That way, if I have guests come over, they can use it as well. If they have waters or whatever, they can use it for whatever they want. And then I also have it at the ready if I need a mini fridge for any reason. And now I am moving this huge mattress. <laughs> and of course, my son is just getting in the way. It's so hard to do things when you have a toddler. Like if you have toddlers, you understand what I mean. It is so hard to do things with a toddler. They just want to be involved and they're just a lot of times in the way. Um, but he's cute, so he makes up for it. <laughs> In any case, I am going ahead and setting up this bed and this bed, let me tell you, she is heavy. So I was very, very proud of myself that I was able to do this. My boyfriend wasn't able to help me on this day and I was just like, no, I want to get this done. So I was like, I'm going to make this happen. And I did. <laughs> I did it all by myself and I was very, very proud of myself. So just going up and going ahead and setting up the bed. Who knows what you think about me? I know I shouldn't care 
I really tried my best, but I can't make you happy. And I can't stop time for you. I don't know why we couldn't work this out. Because you know I tried the best I could. I don't know how or what I could have done. But baby, I really tried the best I could. Can't stop time for you was time to move this huge bookcase and I was trying to move it with leaving all the stuff on it <laughs> because I was getting lazy um, but then I realized I was gonna have to start taking everything off so after finding the next YouTube video I wanted to listen to I decided to take everything off and just put it all on the bed and it worked out a lot better because I was able to really see everything that I had and it made the whole decorating process a lot easier because I just was looking at the bed, looking around the rest of the room and seeing where I wanted to place things because I also had that huge shelf above the bed that I needed to fill up as well. So I had, but I definitely had a lot of stuff crammed into this shelf. So I was able to make it look, look a lot better um, by splitting it up a little bit. So I'm going to go ahead and move this and wipe everything down and then get to decorating. Bound 
One thing I will say is figuring out where you want to arrange books is definitely <laughs> a time consuming project. As you guys can see, it took me forever to figure out how I wanted all these books. And then they're all part of series, so I had to like arrange them in the proper order. And it was just a big pain in the butt. But in the end, I absolutely loved the way that it turned out. And I like the way I had them all organized as well. About to leave, already packing. Come with me, I'm not really asking. We'll get away. To a place where we don't know About to see The world in action What we can be Life with no distractions We'll get away This is what we waited for Take my hand, we'll make it somehow We can't miss out So now I'm just going ahead and folding up all of the extra pillows and blankets and all that sort of thing um, for the spare bedroom and for the daycare and just putting it into these drawers at the bottom of my bed. They are really, really handy. So I really love having them and it's just a good place to keep extra blankets and stuff like that, especially because we're now in the basement. So it's going to get a lot colder. So it's good to have lots of extra blankets and such. And I am finally going to be able to make the bed. I feel like once the bed is made, the room really, really comes together and it just looks so much better. So I had this little laundry here. I had to go through and pick out all the bedding and I'm just like so happy to have this done. The one thing I will say though is that I have a duvet and a duvet cover for this bed and actually in our king size bed as well upstairs and my goodness like putting in a duvet into a duvet cover that is just got to be the worst task ever <laughs> and I have a pretty good system now like I figured out how to do it the easiest way for me. I've tried a bunch of different tips and tricks and I've figured out how to do it the best way in my opinion but it's still just such a pain in the butt and I mean the queen one that I'm working on here isn't quite as bad but when I have to do my king one upstairs that is literally the worst thing ever Alright you guys, this is probably my favorite part of the entire video. Look at how cute Holden is. He has a little tiny screwdriver and he thinks he's coming to help me and it's just so stinking cute. I can't even take it. It was so adorable. He kept saying, help mama, help mama. Like, oh my gosh. So that was the highlight of my day for sure when he came over to help me. Like, how sweet is that? Take my hand, we'll make it somehow. We can't miss out.
All right, you guys, I am in the finished spare bedroom slash nap room for my daycare. And I'm so happy. It turned out so great. I thought I was going to have to get a bunch of decorations and a bunch of wall decor in here. But I just, once again, was able to use what I had. Don't mind my son screaming. He's like in the mini fridge. He will knock it out. I don't know. I'm not sure what he's saying. I think he's saying dirty hands, but his hands are clean, so I don't know. Anyways, <laughs> I'm going to take you through here and do a walkthrough of my new spare bedroom. Okay, so this is the view when you first come in. And over here, I've got a playpen. I actually have three playpens that I'm able to set up. So I can put one there, one here, and then I can have another one here. Um, but I typically don't have that many kids here in one day that nap. So for the most part, this should be good and the bed should be good. Um, so over here, I've got this picture. I was iffy on whether or not I wanted to put this up or not. Um, we got it when we first found out that we were pregnant. Um, one of my boyfriend's uncles sent this to us and it's really, really beautiful. But I'm not sure it really goes with my <laughs> theme in here. Like, it's kind of just light and airy in here. And this is this is a beautiful piece, but it's kind of different. But <sighs> there's my son in the mini fridge. We'll knock it out. Hold in. Come out. Yeah. <laughs> I switched out these curtains, as you guys can probably tell. I just had these ones laying around, I sw so I swapped out. They were kind of like a dark blue. I swapped those out for the gray because it obviously matched a lot better. So I've just got basically all of my other books that I collect. I collect all the books from my childhood. Um, over on my BookTube channel, I talk a lot about that. So I've got a lot of books in here and just a lot of other, other decor that I'm not using in the house elsewhere. And then over here, I just got a little blanket hung up there. That one should probably go here. I don't know. It's conflicting patterns. So I'm like, I'm not sure. I might just get like a plain yellow blanket for here um, or even just a white one. I hung up the TV there and then we just got this little mini gallery wall. So guys, that is it for my <laughs> spare bedroom reno. <laughs> video I can't get them out of there you guys I just can't anyways <laughs> and I have no idea what he's saying anyways I hope you guys are having an awesome day thanks for hanging out with me and I'll see you in my next video bye hold in say bye hold in look it hold in say bye <laughs>